can do it too, but all right. Okay, gang, let's uh, come on up and, uh, you know, uh, Despite all the frivolity, this is still going to be a working day, folks. So come on, come on up, and uh, we'll get this thing started. And I'll uh, like to start by uh, introducing uh, Mayor Norm Rice. Norm. Thank you. Now you can move in a little closer. Honest, this isn't church, and uh, I won't ask for a collection. All right. <laughs> Unless <laughs> that's close enough. No. The only collection we'll take up, uh, or continue to take up, are for the donations for those who uh, were injured. And I really appreciate the sensitivity and the concern that you have for your fellow co-workers and what you're doing. I have three announcements to make, and I'll be very brief, because uh, we do have work to do. First of all, I want to recognize the achievement and the nomination of Randy Hardy to the Chief uh, Administrator of BPA and also to give uh, my positive uh, endorsement of his seven years of stewardship of this wonderful and I think outstanding utility. I tell people over and over that one of the first things I did when I was chair of the Energy Committee was to go to the Skagit and as I like to say to the headwaters to see the generation and to understand the enormous potential and I think the uh, breadth of what this utility is all about. To follow the water, to look at the dam, to see how each ingredient comes together to generate electricity for the customers of City Light is something for every one of us to see and to understand. And then to understand and to see administrators take over the helm and try to guide this utility and maintain its uh, outstanding national stature is something that I'm very proud of. So I want to say to Randy Hardy that in following in a long tradition of City Light superintendents who move up to a higher and greater place, uh, once again, you have made him uh, the administrator and given him this opportunity because it's all about teamwork and it's all about from the top to the bottom. And if the bottom isn't good, the top can't do anything. But I think Randy Hardy would say it too. Thank you all for giving Randy this opportunity and moving it up. But thank you all for making this utility very good. So my congratulations to you, Randy, and the best to you. I think I'd rather have you at BPA than anyone else I can think of. Thank you. So now we go about the business of the selection and the process for naming a new superintendent. But in the meantime, there's work to be done. There are things that we have to do, and there are things that we want to continue to do. And what I decided to do is to say very clearly in the selection of an interim superintendent that I want to empower that individual with accomplishing and implementing the goals that and objectives that Randy has laid out Productivity doesn't, nothing sits on the sideline until the selection is made. There's things to be done, and I wanted to get a person who I knew could get things done and under, understood the sense of what this utility is about. Productivity, the diversity training, uh, making sure that our financial stability of this utility is still maintained. Those are just a few of the things that we're talking about good power generation and preparing ourselves if we don't get enough rain for what we have to do uh, next year. And I can't think of any individual who I have a greater amount of respect to accomplish those goals and to achieve those goals than the person that I'm naming as interim superintendent today, and that is Mac McDonald. And I think he deserves <laughs> <laughs> and I think he deserves that accolade. I think that when you talk about integrity, when you talk about honesty, and you talk about depth and knowledge of this utility, those values stand high in my mind, and I'm going to use him and trust him and use him in the way that's most effective. I want to say just one other thing. 
We're going through a process to select a permanent superintendent. And I want to make it very clear that we have got a lot of interest from all over this country for people who want to run this utility. And that's positive and, once again, it's a reflection of the good work that you do. We're not going to spend a long time, but we are going to make sure that whether you are inside this utility or outside this utility, you're going to get a fair shake in that selection process. And I'm going to look for somebody who understands this business. And let me underscore that, understands this business, but also has the capability to be innovative and to move forward. So I want you to give me your input. I want you to write to me about ideas and things that you want to see in a superintendent. And we want to take your ideas and we want to put them into the shape of the selection and the qualifications as we look at that. So I'm urging every one of you, I don't care if it's on a napkin or if it's a five-page letter, you write to this mayor and you tell me what you want and what you think is most important, and we want them. So get to writing and get to talking and maybe putting those things together because we're soliciting an input from all over. So I really do hope that we maintain the teamwork and the sense of perspective that really is the tradition of City Light, light, power, and pride. I think that those are things that we are trying to instill, and I want to hope that you maintain and do that. And I want you, most of all, to give this man the kind of respect and I think the support that he needs to make sure that we get things done and not just languish around uh, thinking about what ought to be done. I know you can do it, and I'm very proud uh, to have worked with Randy Hardy and also now to work with Mac McDonald uh, because I think you're still getting the best of the best. So without any further ado, I might give you, if you want a chance, Randy, a chance to chat, and then Mac. Randy, thank you all. Uh, I'd just like to take this opportunity to, uh, to say thank you to all of you. Uh, and most of you know the kind of situation we had at the utility seven years ago when I came here. Uh, we are far from perfect now, but I think we're a damn sight better off than we were then. Uh, and, but that hasn't been due very much to me. It's been due much more to you and to the kind of capability and teamwork and spirit that you all have had. And those are easy words to say, but but I really mean them, and you all have demonstrated that time in and time out, uh, day in and day out. When the, you know, when the chips are down, you all have come through. I, I can't think of, there have been many times, the Virginia Street outage, the uh, uh, bad weather, probably the best, most recent example was this, the storms last December, uh, where you all here, as well as at, uh, uh, at North and in the main building, uh, uh, pulled together for a real team effort uh, People still come up to me uh, in rotary meetings on the street from Bainbridge Island and from other, where, uh, other locations even outside the city to talk about our crews and the kind of job that you all did uh, back in December. Uh, that's the kind of thing that leaves a mark in people. That's the kind of thing that you can be genuinely proud of, uh, and I just urge you to keep it up. Uh, I'd say the other two other things. One is my selection as Bonneville superintendent, obviously it's something that I'm excited about, looking forward to. I've been here for seven years. That's twice as long as I've been in any other job in my entire life. Uh, I don't know whether that says something about me or I think it says something good about you uh, as opposed to uh, my rather frenetic uh, uh, professional life. Uh, but, uh, but it's with a, a tinge of, uh, of real regret uh, that I leave. I think, however, the one thing that I want you to understand, you probably saw some of the speculation in the newspapers uh, about my selection. Uh, it, it, let me say a couple of things about that. First of all, it was clear that I wasn't selected because of my political sponsorship. Uh, uh, secondly, it was, I think it was mainly due to a review of the qualifications of the candidates. Uh, I think that said a lot less about me than it said about this utility and about you. 
One of the main reasons I'm going to be Bonneville administrator is because of the reputation that Seattle City Light has nationally, not just regionally, nationally, in a whole variety of areas. In our, in, in our, our work ethic, in the, in the operations in T&D areas, in our conservation and environmental programs, uh, even in our human resource management issues, we're the innovators, we're the leaders, and we're perceived that way, uh, uh, again, not just within the Northwest, but across the country. Uh, and that played no small part in, you know, in my, in my selection. Uh, finally, I'd just like to encourage you to work strongly with Mac. He'll be a good leader for you in the interim period. We've got a lot of stuff going. Uh, you know, we're in the business, we're in the process of the implementing the smaller crews uh, uh, in TND right now. Uh, while some are skeptical about that, I think you're going to find that's going to be real positive over the long run. It's going to make your, your jobs as journey level workers and uh, 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 crew chiefs and supervisors easier. Uh, secondly, the reorganization uh, and the service center concept will do the same thing. Uh, we'll, you know, we now have, with Reg Kaiser, uh, not just a good leader, but both at North and South, we have one person responsible for virtually everything that goes on at the service centers, or soon to be responsible. I think that will simplify decision making. And when we fully implement the service center concept, you'll have the engineers out here working side by side with you all. So if you're a crew chief and you've got a question or you're a customer service rep and you're trying to get something put together, it's not a matter of playing phone tag with the main building or doing these other things. It's a matter of just stepping across the hall and getting the job done. Uh, we intentionally did that because we think it'll make your jobs easier and we think it will make, uh, it will enable you to provide much better customer service you know, to all of our customers out, uh, uh, out in the field and in the south end. Uh, uh, I think, you know, that's been my objective for the time that I have been here is to try to remove roadblocks so you can do your jobs better. We've done some of that. We've got more to do. Uh, but again, I really appreciate the kind of uh, team spirit and the kind of support I've enjoyed from all of you. Uh, it's been real, gang. Uh, and uh, I haven't ever worked with a finer group of professionals uh, and a finer uh, group of people that had the, the kind of work ethic that you all do. I mean that sincerely, and I've been in this business for 25 years, so I think I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. No one, no one can hold a candle to the City Light workforce uh, when we're not fighting with each other and we got focused on a goal. No one can, okay, can hold a candle to us, uh, to us getting the job done, and last December's performance is the, probably the best, and, but simply the most recent example of that trend. So thank you very much. I'll try to stick around for a little while and shake hands. And uh, Mac, why don't you say a few words? Good morning. Just a few words to assure you that we will be staying the course, the very good course that Randy has set for us. As a member of the executive team under Randy Hardy's leadership, I had a very good vantage point to see the excellent beginnings we've made. Now as the designated team leader for the next brief period, I will be intent on solidifying the gains we've already made, establishing a good base for future progress, and moving out in all of those areas that we can. I'm very proud of the Seattle City Light heritage. And I'm very proud of all of you folks in the workforce. I was pleased to hear the words of appreciation and recognition from Mayor Wrights. And I thank you for that. I look forward to serving you in the few months ahead. Now I know that you'd like to have a few words with Randy, and we'll take this opportunity to let him circulate and say a few words with you and you with him. Thank you. Thank you. And to quote that uh, famous philosopher, let's get busy. Thank you. Thank you.